Hey guys, this is JT here. This is going to be my final thoughts on the Traxxas X Max. Now, this is the 6S version, and I'm going to go into a little bit of detail about the history of this X Max right here. I was fortunate enough to buy this X Max at a decent price, brand new, never ran, never used. And this was version 2 of the Traxxas X Max. This wasn't version 1. So I didn't get the one where you, they did the recall on the speed controller and stuff. And also, this truck had a lot of upgrades on it when I got it. Um, it has the T-Bone Racing Willy Bar you see there on the back of it. It also has the underplate underneath it. It has a heat sink on the motor. And it also had the spiral gears installed into it. So it was pretty much like you would if you got this 6S version and you would do some modifications for it. Now I went ahead and bought the castle fan for this and I did not have to use it because the truck never got that hot to where I would need to take the heat sink off and use it. Now I've driven this car I would say over 25 times, um, probably more than that. And I haven't had any issues out of it at all. Um, the only problem that I have had um, has been with the body. This is a weak point that is on this truck. When the truck starts to flip and stuff, because of the way the body is mounted on, um, the screws that are on here actually go through the actual body. And you guys can see, let's see if I can get some light on here. Um, I did put some screws in here that has actually a flat head. And over time, those started going through it too. So... That is the one thing after driving this truck a lot of times that has broken on this truck. And also, this truck, even though it has stock gearing in it, seems to be a lot faster than your normal 6S X-Max out the box. And I say that because a friend of mine has one, and we actually ran them together and raced them against one another. And he had his geared up, and his was just a little bit faster than mine. It, it beat it, but it didn't beat it bad. So we kind of wondered if this did not have the stock gearing in it, and we went inside and it did. So I'm not sure what went on with this X-Max. Maybe this was a special one <laughs> out there somewhere, but it performed well. It did. I know I did a video a while back saying why I wouldn't buy X-Max, and I wasn't. I wasn't going to pay seven, dollars $800 for this truck. Um, I really wasn't. And then knowing after I paid the money, I was going to have to put more money into this truck for upgrades. Um, which I did not have to do. So I do say that, get this off real quick. Um, the one thing with this truck has been the body. I like the easy release latch that, that Traxxas has on here. Um, and you'll see everything up in there. That's the heat sink on the motor and stuff. Um, I haven't had any problems. And I haven't broken anything on this truck yet. And I wanted to go ahead and put this video out. Because I've driven the truck a lot. Um, in time, probably within the next, you know, couple of months of continuously driving on road, different surfaces, um, I will have to start worrying about putting money into the truck now to keep it maintained, like for tires. I'll need some new tires um, by early next year, and that's not going to be cheap. Um, I'm eventually going to need a new body because this body that I have over here is just not going to hold up as well unless I can um, probably shugu and do some surgery on that. But I'll end up needing a new body for this as well. Um, and the ESC and stuff, everything else has been fine on it. But at some point in time, some stuff's going to start breaking A-arms and all that. So I wanted to go ahead and, and put this out that um, I have liked this truck since I've had it. Um, I would not have paid full price. And this is just me. I would not have paid full price for this truck when it first came out or even the 8S version. It's not a matter of money or anything like that. I just would rather buy two cars and get the enjoyment out of that instead of just buying one. I mean, I think the 8S version is $899 or $799. Whatever it is, it's 800 bucks. And with that, I could buy two 8-scale cars or I could buy several cars and review them and run them and get a joy out. And that's just my personal preference and opinion you know, on that. But I haven't had any faults or any issues with this truck at all. And I've been happy with it. I've been happy every time I've driven it. But it is time for me to um, get ready to move on to other things. Uh, bigger and better things. Well, probably not bigger. <laughs> it's probably one of the biggest um, RC cars. If I can get this in here. There we go. Um, probably one of the biggest RC cars that I've owned next to my Red Cat Shredder. 
Um, and they do have a version 2 out, which I'll probably end up getting as well. But I just want to let you guys know that I've had this. I've had it for a while. Um, I haven't had any problems or issues, but I did have an upgraded version. So had I had gotten the regular one, I would have had to do the spiral gears. You know, I would have had to do some stuff too, and I probably wouldn't have been too happy about that because I'm not a big fan of buying a car and having to put a lot of money into it to get it to perform, even stock out the box. Um, I know some cars are a little bit cheaper and you can do that, but I just personally am not a big fan of that. Um, I know the 8S version is going to be a, a lot better. I've seen one run, um, and of course it's going to be you know faster than this, but it still wasn't super fast to make me want to go get an 8S version. I still like the way this one runs. Um, don't know if this was the, the special one that fell from the sky and just boom, popped up there, but it's performed well. Um, it, it really has. Um, it has made me think twice, um, but I will not take my video down that I put up why I wouldn't get one. I just won't do it because I still have the reasons why I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't pay that much money for it, but it has performed well and it has done good once you do the upgrades to it. Um, the 8S version has a lot of those upgrades on it. It has better tires and wheels from what I've heard. It's got a couple of beefier parts and stuff like that. So um, anyway, guys. Wanted to put this out, like I said, um, get your thoughts and your feedback on it. Go ahead, put them in the comments below. Um, it, it is what it is. So, as always, don't forget to like or dislike, subscribe if you have not, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys, for watching. And thank you guys for the support, too. I know a lot of you guys out there support me in the comments and stuff, and I do appreciate it. I do see them. I may not comment back to them all, but I do see them, and I know there's going to be some negative comments here and there. Hey, it is what it is. It's life. So... Anyway, guys, uh, don't forget to find me on Facebook as well, and stay tuned for more videos.